Turn me into Doofenshmirtz. Okay, younger Markiplier. Oh yeah, this guy. No, I knew that. Don't worry, guys. I watched every single show you grew up with. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be really sad. Hey, I wasn't the one who chose this character specifically, alright? It was you. You could have chosen so many characters, it would have been easy. Markiplier being one of them, and you do have an ear. I took biology, bada bing bada boom, and there you go. You know what, every single day I wake up to many, many tweets and DMs. Heck, I wake up to emails about people saying, Hey, can you please turn me into character? This is like a blood moon, alright? It comes once in a while, and then when it's gone, don't run around whining for it. I'm just kidding, it's very flattering and it boosts my ego immensely. Please turn me into Dr. Eggman from the Snock series. Oh, that's what Eggman's from. You're making the right- I appreciate the right face you made there. Hey, Egg Boy. <laughs> oh, I just- <sighs> I love this. So, you don't have a mustache. There might be a way. Oh, this is gonna look real bad. You know, it's gotta, it's gotta, you know. And we don't want you to be shirtless. Cause I don't want to see this monstrosity being shirtless. Send the Eggman boy, Eggman, man. Give that one an old oof. And there you go, super swag guy too. Now you can have the nightmares. Oh uh, yeah, we can all have nightmares. <laughs>
Who am I? The guy who wears headphones as a fashion statement. You know, this really is a lot more doable than I thought it'd be. This is the first time I've worked on non-human faces uh, since I entered the plastic surgery field. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just gonna look like the, the original image, but just a little bit bent. So, I like to imagine, you know, there's probably a lot of people who follow me and don't really know what I do. And their timeline's just gonna be filled with the weirdest stuff today, and they're gonna be like, What the heck am I following? And then I lose all my Twitter followers, and then if my channel were to accidentally get b deleted by YouTube systems, I would have no way to raise a voice to get it back up, so you know. I put a lot on the line to get these done. So I really should start calling this series What Would Their Kids Look Like? At the end of the day, that's all I'm really doing. Eh. Crop it and chop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you still have a chance. I I did it smart this time. I posted the tweet asking for pictures like a two days before I did it. So then I don't finish doing them and say, oh, we're all done. And then everyone's like, but I did it. Did it, did it. <laughs> oh, I did spell Choa. Okay, you know. <sighs> yes, I will include the phone in this. This actually works out for the better. Oh, I just did the exact opposite of what I wanted. Now, here's the thing about Chow. With Kirby, I could add a nose. <laughs> With Chow, I don't want to add a nose. And uh, none of my reasoning behind it makes any sense. I just don't want to. Yo, this, yeah, this is more doable than I thought it would be. I've spread your eyes farther apart. And it makes it look weird. But it looks better than it would have. So sorry. We can kind of keep it looking like a Chow and still have hair, right? Some weird part of my alienated brain says that that looks all right. It really doesn't though. You know where I'm going with this, right? It's pretty, this is a bad idea. What would you do? Huh? Tell me, riddle me that. Just, just a little bit of a genius. <laughs> Barely. Now I'm about to ruin it. Give me like five seconds. It almost looks like an arm. Ooh, production ran into some issues. It's fine. Hopefully you aren't gonna use this to pay off your mortgage. However the heck that works. Good job, Peter. Turn me into I stockless me crabs. You're making somewhat of a similar face here. I gotta suit up for this one. Wow, these are so comfy and I, I can hear everything really well. What was I doing? You notice there's some artifacting going on because my screen recorder is acting up. You'll notice I have nothing more to add to this sentence. Just want to acknowledge it's the comments don't. Um, I don't know what real thing, you know, this is. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. That's it right there. I'm just gonna stretch this out about a million times. Now keep in mind, if you're ever uh, unsatisfied with your. Peter turning you into things service. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially not if the mouth looks like this. Oi. That mistake, like, punched me in the gut. Oi. Seriously, there's something wrong with me. You might be, like, super cross-eyed looking, by the way, which I hope you're fine with. I know there's a specific group of people who are extremely offended by the idea of being cross-eyed. I'm making things up because I'm... Focusing on this a lot. I'm gonna try to blend it together now. Cause that's possible. Oh wow, it is possible. I actually did a pretty good job with that. Crab. Crab. Isabel from it. Oh, oh, sorry. Isabel from Animal Crossing. Beal. Beal. My fat fingers fail jokes. So we got is not a bell, and then we have. Isabel. Somehow it knew what I meant. That's Isabel. She has bells on her head. That's why she Isabel. And that's when I decided that I didn't like Smash Bros anymore. And googling images of Isabel is apparently the worst thing you can possibly do. Whoever manages my, uh, my Clipping Magic account is gonna be super, super concerned. All I'm doing is heads. It's just heads everywhere. Granted, they would have had a lot of reason to be concerned about my account before that anyway. As you can see, my history is far from normal. If we go back to page 62, it's all the way back in my Sonic 06 days. Like, what? what is this? 
What is that? Look at these people. They're like two. Anyway, back to being creepy. If any of these people try to get jobs in the future and maybe their employers, potential employers, uh, Google their names, it could somehow be linked to this. And I, that's not good. This is making me uncomfortable. Look at, look at the, look at that. This could actually look slightly less horrifying than most of these. Now, I'm not saying it's not still a very strange proportioned kind of abomination, but it, you know, it's going, it's all right. I just need to not get too corny here. So I'm still trying to be, trying to be very careful. I'm like in, in such a hyper focus mode right now. Okay, it's time for the final touches. Home stretch. Let's do this. The blend's too much. Don't get rid of the skin texture. I swear, if this is all just building to a gag where it looks terrible, that would really be lame. What are you... What? I don't care. Give me a virus. I don't care. Oh my gosh. I did it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still Isabel with a human face. This might be the first one we've ever done in the series that is actually all right. In fact, is... A bell. Completely. This is the greatest thing I've ever done. And I'm done spamming all your timelines now. We really did contribute to society today. That's all we can really ask from ourselves when we wake up in the morning. You know, how much are we going to help the world? You know? I've, I've done my part. Now, of course, there were a lot that I didn't get to do. Uh, this man wanted me to turn him into Monokuma which I will do in five seconds during the editing process. Here is that. So until next time, stay away from my Twitter. Stay far away from it. Just remain blissfully unaware of the terrible things that go on there. You're breathing really loud, dog. He knows every time I finish recording a video. Yeah, you. There's no one else here. And he knows people see him on the internet too, because he's grown a bit of an ego recently. Hey, Ray, what if I told you that you were just a dog. See how upset he is? Just need to... There. <coughs>